contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hello again everyone, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Samsung 850 Evo 500GB M.2 drive to a Samsung 7 spin model 740U laptop. So this is a pretty straightforward addition here and this will definitely add some speed to your boot time and your load times. And uh, there's an existing M.2 slot in this model that you can add the M.2 card to and we'll get it all configured and we'll even keep the existing drive in the computer and use it as storage. So at the time of this video I believe there's some 860 EVOs available. It might be a bit better. It's, I do see some 850 EVOs still available in the M.2 format. Running for about you know a little under $200 or so. Like I say it's a great addition to these laptops. And if you can if you can swing it, it's definitely worth doing. Really easy upgrade. And we're going to show you how to get that started right here. So the first thing I want to do is just to turn on this laptop. And I want to identify the drive that's existing in it. So we want to see the drive letter. We want to see how much space is on the drive. We want to see the drive size. Because we're going to keep all that information handy when we install the M.2. So we're very clear on which drive is which once we install the M.2. So we'll go here to this PC, file management, this PC, and have a look here. We can see that, see our existing drive and how much space is being used on it. This is a brand new laptop so there's not much data on it but here we get a clear picture of what size the drive is and how much data is on it. Alright at this point we'll just shut the laptop down. Get it to shut off here. Close the lid. Let's flip it over. And then we're going to proceed to take out all of the screws on the bottom of this laptop. So it's a basic Phillips technician screwdriver needed to remove these screws. And we'll just remove them one at a time until they're all taken off. Just for giggles, I'm going to check underneath these feet just to see if there's any screws under there. A lot of times there are, but in this case, there is not. So we'll proceed to take off this back cover and we are using a pry tool here. We'll start off with that. Whatever method you want to use is easier for you, please do. I switched over to a spudger. I mean, it's clipped on here tight, but if you use the right tool, you'll be able to, to uh, unlatch it. I found that the this metal iSesame tool actually worked the best. You kind of wiggle it down and just kind of pry downwards on it a little bit, and everything just starts coming unsnapped. But I will say that this back cover is on there pretty tight, so you will have a time with it just be patient don't force anything as usual and uh you know we get this thing uh taken off there we go looking good just like i say take your time 
don't force anything and it'll we'll get it right off here just trying to figure out where it's clipped to as you can see nice and gently done and the back cover comes off and that exposes the components of the computer so basically with this the m.2 slot is located up underneath this large ribbon cable so we got to flip up the zip connector and remove one side of this ribbon cable and right underneath here is where the m.2 connector resides i'll turn it around here and give you a little bit of a better look but as you can see it's right there so there's a screw we have right there that they left in there for us. And you could also see right next to that is our terabyte hard drive. We're going to leave that in there. That is going to be for our storage. So at this point, we'll just open up our M.2 card here. Nice looking M.2. Love them. We'll just pop it in its slot. Be sure it's nice and snug in there. Nice and easy, set it down, let it rest on that area where the screw goes in. Then we can take our screwdriver. Tighten it up. There we go. And now we can put the ribbon cable back into its slot and lock it down. We'll knock it, lock it down. Here we go. Notice how the terabyte hard drive there is right next to that. We're going to leave that, obviously. We'll put our back cover back on. Now, I'm not going to put the screws back into this yet. We're just going to snap it all down just in case if there's some kind of an issue. But we'll lock this down, and once this back cover's back on here, we'll We'll turn it on and uh, get this drive here configured and hopefully it sees it and everything will go good. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so what we have done here is uh, I've booted up the computer, logged into his account. Uh, we're, we're booting up, of course, off of his original mechanical terabyte drive. But then we just go into disk management here. Right click. Go to disk management here. And this is going to show us how many disks the computer recognizes. And now, as you can see, we have another disk being shown. It's unallocated. So I think what we want to do now is here's the terabyte drive originally that the operating system's on. Here is the M.2 drive that we installed. And uh, we're going to go ahead and format that M.2. We'll right click. N new simple volume. It's all pretty basic from here. Next. Next. Now it's going to give us a, an assignment of D. We'll change that drive letter once we have it cloned over. So we'll format, do a quick format, next, finish. And now it's formatting and now it comes up as a drive so we know we're good to go there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone over disk 0 to disk 1. And then I'm going to format disk zero. But what I'm going to do to do this is we're going to boot to a USB. I have Macrium Reflect on this and we'll boot to this and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and, and do the clone. We'll, we'll clone the C drive over to the D drive and then we'll format that C drive and then we'll change the drive letter down here to C. That should work out. We'll go ahead and get this cloned over. See how it does. Okay everyone, I have the flash drive plugged in, my bootable flash drive that I'm going to use as my cloning tool. And in order to access the BIOS on this particular Samsung, 
uh, you just press uh, repeatedly F2 and that'll bring you into the BIOS and then from that point you just go into boot and then we'll disable we'll disable fast mode is all we have to do here and then we will save and exit I've already saved so I'm just going to exit and we just confirm this and then during during post when it reboots you want to hit F10 keep pressing F10 on the keyboard and then you will be greeted with your select boot device menu here that's going to show you uh, that we do have our sand disk cruiser glide here that we want to boot to so we'll just select that and now we are booting into the flash drive we'll get ready to do our clone okay funny enough with my software that I had to use here uh, Macrium Reflect I guess there wasn't a touchpad driver for this model since it's so new so I had to plug in a USB key uh, mouse to uh, get any kind of a cursor going here but anyways um, as you can see this this shows up just fine this is the terabyte uh, Toshiba drive and this is the 500 gig Evo um, this here is my flash drive we won't worry about that so we'll select the terabyte Ooh, you know what there we got to clone that over too that's a problem okay mm. so to clone that over to the 500 gig there's a terabyte in here okay so we'll do clone this disk and then we'll select a disk to clone to and then we will choose uh the 850 evo correct and then we will delete this partition on the evo and we will delete that partition okay as you can see in macrium i was able to shrink down some of the volumes to make it fit on a 500 gig because we are coming off of a terabyte so macrium reflect lets you adjust to where it all fits so i got an exact clone with the right amount of space over to the 500 gig ssd all right we'll just go down here and we'll click uh, next because that's our source disk source disk is the toshiba terabyte destination disk is the samsung evo we'll hit next and then it shows you the what's about to happen here double check triple check be sure your source disk and destination disk are correct and then just we'll hit finish it's going to warn you that the data is going to be erased on that ss or the m.2 no problem continue so now the cloning is taking place and we'll just let that finish we'll reboot and we'll be sure that we can boot into that uh, m.2 once we're done here okay as we can see here the clone has completed go ahead and we'll just uh, click OK there and then we'll click close and that's going to reassess our drives so now we see identical partitions except one's smaller than the other due to the fact that the one drive smaller than the other so now um, we have the issue of um, two drives being the same with the boot partition and all that on both of them. So two identical drives. Uh, we need to do something there with the drive letters or we need to uh, see about booting into that SSD. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull the USB drive and then we're going to uh, power down which I will hold the power button down here then I'll turn it off hello everyone we'll turn it back on go to F10 
and F10. Now we have two different boot options here. So not really sure which one is which, but I'm going to assume that Windows Boot Manager SATA number two is where it's at. So let's try that one. That's booting up relatively quick. So I would say that that's definitely the SSD there. Okay, see now we have booted into Windows. That was much quicker than it was booting into before. And just to confirm, we'll go to File Explorer. And then we'll do this PC. Oops. This PC. Okay, this one was automatically local disk C, which I like that. So it changed the drive to C, and I really do like that. So here's our D drive here. So what we're going to do with the D drive is, hopefully I think we can format that drive. Let's see, because this is the 500 gig. This is the terabyte. So if we can format that drive, Will it let us? It should. Format. Click OK. This drive is in use by another program or process. Yes. Yes. So it's formatting. OK. Format complete. Very nice. So now we have a terabyte drive here free of space and here is our m.2 with our operating system on it so now let's just try a regular boot here right click restart we are restarting Let's boot straight up into that drive. Okay, it's loading now. It's going very quick. And now we're ready to log in just that fast. So yes. Okay, we have booted back up there successfully. And uh, we've transferred, we have successfully installed the M.2 drive on this Samsung. File Explorer, this PC, oops, wonderful. So that worked out well. So we have successfully installed our M.2 drive into this Samsung 7 Spin 740U model. And I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe. Tim'sComputerFix.net is where you can find me. If you ever need help repairing your computer, head over to my website and look, contact me there. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Until next time, everyone, see you soon.